Hi everyone, in this particular video, I am going to discuss a few questions from NMR spectroscopy. Uh, we can talk about this particular question over here, which was asked in December 2009. Here, IR data is given to you. Proton NMR is given to you. Whenever the question given both IR data and NMR data actually very beneficial for you. IR data will help you to find out the functional group. NMR data try to evaluate or justify the answer. Here four options are given over here. IR help you to cancel out some of the options. Here, the option 1 and option 2. 1 and 2, ester group is present as a functional group. Ester group, IR data. Ester group, IR data that is 1750. Here, IR data two less than the specified data the specified data that is one six nine zero therefore here option one and option two we can cancel one six nine zero belongs to conjugated ketone or alpha beta and saturated ketone Alpha, beta, and saturated ketone. IR tells you about your alpha, beta, and saturated ketone, which is there in option 3 and 4. Option 3 and 4. Here, 1100 centimeter inverse basically about CO stretching frequency. C single bond O stretching frequency. This particular thing helping you to find this belongs to the CO single bond here. CO single bond. How many peaks are getting in your NMR data? Therefore here in your NMR data, four peaks are the. Now we can consider option three. Methyl group over here, CH3. This is the type of hydrogen, A. is free methyl group this is the type of hydrogen a here also hydrogen here also here there will be equivalent hydrogen this also of uh, of type b here b Here, this is the hydrogen of type C. Type C. Therefore, here also CH3. Type D. Therefore, here four peaks are here. Four peaks. Here, 2.8 singlet three hydrogen. This indicates. 2.8 singlet 3 hydrogen. 2.8 singlet 3 hydrogen CS3. CS3 group indicates 2.8 singlet 3 hydrogen. OCS3. Here OCS3 indicates 
OCH3 that uh, that is in the range of 3.5 to 4. Here, uh, 3.8 sinclat 3 hydro OCH3. If it is OCH2, that is in the range of 4 to 4.5. OCH, that is in the range of 4.5 to 5. Whenever you get doublet J, 8 her, 2 hydrogen, here doublet J equal to 8 hertz and 2 hydrogen. Always remember in those set of molecules is para substitute. This is para substitute as one. Uh, now we can check the option 4. CH3. Here also CH3. This is the hydrogen of type A. Here do not have equivalent hydrogen. Chemical environment are different. B. Hydrogen of type B. This is hydrogen of type C. This is hydrogen of type D. This is hydrogen of type E. Uh, this one hydrogen of type F. Therefore, here 6C. Therefore, here option 4 wrong. Therefore, here the correct answer is option 3. 3 is the correct answer. Next question, we can talk about this particular question over here, which was asked in December 2019. Here, here, pyridine molecule are given over here. Carbon are numbered over here as 2, 3, and 4. Two, three, and four. You have to tell that which of them correspond to chemical shift value of that. If we have a pyridine molecule like this, you want to see the resonance in it, right? How does resonance happen? This bond shift over here, this bond, this bond uh, shift over here, nitrogen being more electronegative. In that particular case, nitrogen will have more electronegative more electronegative and force C charge will uh, generate at this carbon here. Second position. The next shifting of this uh, particular bond, shifting of this particular bond, force C charge generate at fourth position here. Force C charge generate at the fourth position. Two and four, we are getting the force C charge. Two and four. Uh, we are getting getting force C charge. Force C charge means electron deficient center. Here on this particular carbon, hydrogen cannot be shielded, it is de-shielded. Hydrogen remains shielded at 2 and 4, whereas it remains shielded at position 3. If the hydrogen is de-shielded, chemical shift more downstream and if it is more downstream, higher value of chemical shift. De-shielded at 2 and 4. De-shielded at 2 and 4. If the hydrogen is de-shielded, chemical shift more downstream. Chemical shift more downfield. If it is more downfield, higher value of chemical shift. Higher value of chemical shift. Higher value of the chemical shift. 
2 and 4, uh, you are getting higher value. Carbon or we can say carbon 2 and carbon 4, you should get higher value of car chemical shift compared to the third one. This is second position, third position and the fourth position. Option 1 and 3, you are getting higher value of chemical shift. 1, option 1 and 3, you are getting higher value of the chemical shift. The option third uh, also you are getting the higher value of carbon 2 and carbon 4, right? You can simply cancel out uh, 2 and 4. 2 and 4. Right now you have just seen the resonance effect. Second effect which can happen that is in the case. Second effect that is inductive effect. Uh, due to that inductive effect, uh, we can check what will happen. Nitrogen being more electronegative attract more electron from this particular carbon towards itself. Attract more electron from this particular carbon towards itself, making this uh, particular position more d -shaped. Inductive effect is distance oriented. If you go away from the nitrogen, effect will be weaker. I am talking about this uh, fourth position. It won't be able to attract that much electron from here. Carbon 2, carbon, uh, the carbon number 2 has highest chemical shift value compared to 4. Then carbon number 4 and least chemical shift value uh, for position 3. Therefore, here option 3 is the correct answer. Uh, next question IR data is given over here and proton NMR also uh, given over here. Whenever the question given both IR data and NMR data actually very beneficial for you. Already I have explained, therefore no need to explain further. Uh, IR data will help you to find out the uh, find out the functional thing. Therefore, here the IR data is 1690 cm inverse. IR data will help you to find out the functional group. Okay, therefore this function should be there. Then uh, proton NMR 2.5 Sinclair 3 hydrogen. Therefore this indicates this indicates CH3. Then here next is a 3.8 Sinclair 3 hydrogen indicate for CH3 case. Okay, the next is Daplat J is equal to 8 hertz and 2 hydrogen. Okay. Here also 8 hertz, 2 hydrogen. Whenever you get J is equal to 8 hertz and 2 hydrogen, always remember your set of molecule is para substituted. Therefore, here option D we can cancel out because the uh, OCHT group is not there. Then here this is also wrong. This is also wrong. They go here. Option A is the correct answer. This is the blood. This is also the blood. This is the blood. The blood. Okay. Therefore, option 1 is the correct answer.